Generating 3D dataset with the 3D reconstructor course, you now have access to this GLTF viewer. So if you have a GLTF file, just drag and drop it here, else you can load one I have. This is based only with a foundation model, and this is a 3D reconstruction. And that will allow you to always visualize your point cloud with the cameras very easily. But also this is a great example, because in here, um, you may want also to adjust a bit the visualization. So let's do a translation, maybe a rotation very quickly. And if you need to scale, this is also feasible. And down the line, this is what you get. You are point cloud with the various cameras. You also have the ability to measure or to reset the camera. So it's a very quick way for you to have the possibility to explore any GLTF file, super focused, super handy, especially when prototyping or wanted to check very quickly because you don't have that uh, easily accessible. <laughs> or you need to pay a lot for something that I don't think um, should be a paying product. Nevertheless, uh, play with it and bookmark it if you need to use it later on. If you want to learn how to build something like this, just take the course at the 3 Geodata Academy. If you want to learn more, go on the newsletter in any time. This is the gift for this specific day. And my recommendation would be to make sure that you have a complete understanding of 3D data science with Python, with my book. The code and the data is also uh, part of it, so you get much more than this uh, 687 pages, I think, more or less. Uh, of course, I'm working on revising, so if you have any feedback, I'm always happy to, to inject it into this book. This is the last present for this week. I hope you got a ton of value. It took a lot of time for me to create all of that, but hopefully this is worth it because it helps you grow, innovate, and build actual solution with Python 3D and AI.